and good day. You're flying Toronto's unfriendly skies, and we're going to be talking about update 2.0.7. Uh, this came in at 5.51 a.m. And looks for for most of us is going to be a 16.2 gigabyte uh, upgrade. All right, we're going to introduce. Uh, they're going to introduce the bomber escort mode. And. We're going to get the chance to defend the bombers as they go across or attack the bombers, depending on the type of aircraft you choose, if it's anything like the previous games that have happened out there. Um, you need to be aware that the functionality of the paint schemes has gone way up. And there's new aircraft that are going to be available on promotion, the Junker JU-86, the 289A, the 111H2, and the De Havilland Vampire H1. Okay, make note of the times here so you don't miss it. And you get a chance to obtain seven premium aircraft for participating. And in the bomber escort mode, um, you're going to have to coordinate and talk to each other. Oh boy, that's a new one for us, right? Um, every aircraft type is going to have a role in the escorting group. Um, You're going to have to, fighters are going to have to protect the bombers from enemy attacks and escort 10 of them to the appointed target. Uh, attack aircraft and aircraft with outboard weapons. In other words, you heavy fighters and uh, uh, multi ops, multi roles, I should say, are going to be uh, expected to attack the strong points, the strongholds. The strongholds and the AA guns are powerful enough to destroy whole waves of bombers. So you're going to have to <laughs> uh, take the strongholds. And once you have it, you can now use it as a spawn point. That's pretty interesting. Uh, intercepting group consists of fighters only. And you will need to destroy the bombers and protect the strongholds. As their fire support is essential for winning. This sounds like it's going to be interesting and tough. Um, added new maps, Seagate, Peripheral Mission, Asian Border, Archipelago, Plateau, Cold Peak, Road to Rome, Avion Rolling Thunder. Conquest mode changes. Uh, the map layout uh, Albion trump card has been reworked. It's now completely symmetrical. Uh, four new cold pe uh, new map cold peak with four new map layouts for the conquest mode. For five to eight players have been added. Tiers five to eight, excuse me. Uh, cold peak, walls of stone, trial by fire, cornerstone of control, and gem of the mountain. Superiority now has less impact on gameplay. The speed of Gaining resources lowered, but it still depends on the overall number of sectors on the game on the game scheme. Okay, general balance changes, and gentlemen, I do suspect, and ladies, we do have a couple of ladies in the subscriber list. The A gun balance has been reworked. The damage models have been changed. It becomes easier to dodge AA. The time for uh, players to respond to the threat has increased. Influence of the randomness on AA gunfire spread has been decreased. Take note. At the same time, damage to straight flying aircraft has been increased and now depends on the size, aircraft type, and speed. Thus, AA guns and their number on different types of sectors is still an essential factor. The maneuvers for evading the fire have become more effective. Act added 
accurate AA gun models and their effects. Reworked AA gun sounds, added armor to gun, armor gun sectors for stronghold. Uh, added uh, the influence of some paint schemes to be the damage received from AA guns, decreased damage from air defense uh, aircraft models, the heavy bow fighter model in particular. Command center flight trajectories of attack bombers on all map layouts have been changed. Now they fly off from fly off the side of the map of the entry point. Let's try that again. The flight trajectories of flight bombers on all maps have been changed. Now they fly off from the side of the battle entry point of the team controlling the command center. The speed of so I guess they just don't go at a 45 degree angle and climb out anymore. The speed of attack flight bombers has been uh, slightly decreased. The number of hit points of attack flight bombers has been slightly increased. The amount of flight attack bombers gunners has been slightly increased. The attack flight bombers gunners prioritize damage from certain types, aircraft types as well as AA guns. They will try to damage the most dangerous target. Attack aircraft are no longer a target for high-altitude AA guns of sectors near which these aircraft fly. The marker system for attack flight bombers has been reworked. Their display on the mini-map radar has been improved. And positions for attack flights are now spread across different alt alt altitudes. Excuse me. <clears throat> Stronghold icons have been changed. The number of capture points due to capture a strong point has been increased from 450 to, four, to I'm sorry, 140 to 150 neutral, and from 180 to 220 capture points for enemy. Ground target uh, compositions have been changed. Their overall armor has been increased. The number of AA guns has been increased to 14. Stronghold AA guns are now armored. Economics. Change to algorithms for calculating credits rewarded to balance income for players of various skill levels. This change involves all aircraft in the game. Reward, average reward um, battles for all tiers will remain the same. Advantages for premium aircraft will not change. Based on uh, statistical analysis, income ratios for several aircraft from the tech trees have been adjusted to correspond with other aircraft from other tiers. Reduced income rates for the 5FU, F5U, geez, IL-40, the MEP-1099, the B-2, the MEP-1092, the Yak-30, the IL-40P, the MEP-1102B, the MEP-1101, and they increased the rates for the P-72, the SWIFT, the F-5-252, uh, the uh, F-7U, and the F-84F. Restores tokens with the... Uh, restores rewards for tokens for achieving Ace, Thunder, or Wing Legend service awards once a day. Matchmaking system. Uh, matchmaking ses sessions have been changed to increase the qu uh, queue time and the improving uh, to improve balancing. Well, it couldn't get much worse. So, um, PVE arena will be launched when the waiting time exceeds 100 seconds for all game modes. Aircraft type disbalance no longer leads to increased queue time. The matchmaker will make team compositions equal by adding AI of corresponding aircraft types. All aircraft tier um, correlations have been changed. Now 70% of AI are on planes one tier down from the overall tier of the battle. The skill levels of AI at different battle tiers have been changed. Tiers 1 to 3, all beginners. Tier 4 and 5, all warriors. Tier uh, 6 to 10, all veterans. 
Okay. Heavy fighter. I'm hoping that means what I think it does, because if it does, it means that the the AI levels on bots are now set and won't change. Heavy fighter priorities have been changed. They won't hunt bombers all battle long, but will attack sectors, military base, command center, air base, and so on. All ground attack aircraft will be less distracted by uh, air combat. Influence of distance on strategic priorities has been increased. Now bots attack the most distant sectors with a lower probability. The influence of the number of aircraft in sectors has been slightly reduced. New bots can focus on one sector with a large number of planes. A situation when a bot doesn't act according to its strategic priorities, if a, its priority sector has too many planes, will appear less often. Paint schemes, and this one you need to pay attention to because it just got a whole lot more important. Concealment bonus has been increased from uh, 20, 10% to 20%, and a 10% resistance to AA gun damage has been added. 5% resistance to gunner damage has been added as before. Uh, seasonal paint schemes only work on corresponding maps. Universal uh, paint schemes, 10% concealment and 5% resistance to AA gun damage have been added. Bonuses work on all types of maps before these these uh, before these paint schemes gave no advantage. Special, unique, and rewarded uh, paint, paint schemes have different additional bonuses according to their idea. They are bonuses to crew experience, aircraft experience, crew speed, and so on. All emblems in those art is now provide a economic advantage. Emblems have a 2% to crew experience, and those are a 3% bonus to crew experience. The cost of all decoration has been revalued according to the period the uh, aircraft belongs to. Specialist missions. Discount for early accomplishment of specialist missions for tokens has been added depending on the degree of accomplishment for main and secondary missions the amount now may reach 50%. Winning conditions for the Spain's specialist missions has been removed. Um, secondary specialist missions for multi-role fighters now include destroying air defense and AA guns. The relative progress as a percentage of specialist missions have been saved for all player accounts. Interface. The manual uh, turret control mode blind zones are now more visible. The bomb load display and bomb sight have been changed for bombers dropping several bombs at a time. The bomb sight maker at large climb angles, more than 20%, is no longer displayed. Equipment. The reassemble button has been moved to the main panel next to the buttons for enhance and calibrate. The reassembling interface has been changed. A special icon will appear if there are enough materials for enhancing equipment mounted on the plane. Hangar. The values of the integral characteristic can now take values greater than 100, taking into account equipment consumables and pilot skills. Now that's interesting. Bug fixes. Uh, fixed bugs that with incorrect propellers on SB, Hurricane Mark 8, 1A, and Hurricane 2. Fix most issues that cause white artifacts in the center of the, of the screen in battles. Fix an issue that will cause aircraft filters to reset when creating or closing a flight, uh, training flight room. Fix an issue that will cause black screens to appear in some cases after pricing battle, which I have had consistently. All right, folks, did want to let you know about this, did want to let you know that uh, these were coming in, and I'm putting this out immediately, um, just so that you're aware and don't get caught by surprise. We'll talk about these changes as they appear, and I get flight time with it, and your comments and suggestions, as always, are appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow.